Now, we've seen early earthquake warning systems work in Mexico and Japan. Now a warning system is about to be tested right here in the Southland that can potentially save lives. CBS 2's Christine Lazar explains where it is and how it works. It worries me to think that a huge one might be coming. After a spring filled with seismic activity in the Southland, Long Beach City leaders excitedly announced today that their city has been chosen as a beta test site for the earthquake early warning system. We're going to meet with USGS on Monday um, with a number of our key departments that will really benefit from this. And we're going to select the sites where this web-based testing will take place. We anticipate four or five sites will be selected. The more than 500 sensors that crisscross the fault lines beneath Southern California could give a few seconds to as much as a few minutes of warning. In a city like Long Beach, that's enough to help protect the ports. Ground planes at the airport give doctors time to stop delicate procedures, allow traffic and trains to stop, for fire stations to open their doors, and for people to drop, cover, and hold. Whether it's seconds or minutes, we'll take whatever we can and we'll use it to our best benefit. City leaders here in Long Beach hope that eventually their half a million residents can also receive an early warning. Notifications sent right to their cell phone. The U.S. Geological Survey is asking the dozen or so beta test sites throughout California not to do anything with the data right now, simply to monitor it and make recommendations of what works with the computer software and what doesn't. The USGS would need about $16 million annually to implement an early warning system up and down the West Coast similar to a system already in place in Mexico. It gave 71 seconds of warning before the 7.2 quake that struck Mexico City last week. However, Governor Jerry Brown has said no state general funds can be used for the early warning system. It's technology this Long Beach mom thinks is worth the hefty price tag. It worries me more now that I have kids than it did before. Before I'm like, oh, whatever, it's an earthquake. But this time, this last earthquake came, I definitely felt more like, oh, no, like I went right to his room. In Long Beach, Christine Lazar, CBS 2 News.